Hello, my name is Joshua Harris. I'm head of support at MailParser, and this video is about using MailParser and Salesforce in tandem to automate your data entry process. MailParser is a cloud-based app built to save customer time by extracting data from emails and attachments, and making that data available via a file download or sending it somewhere on the internet with a webhook. As MailParser is listed in the Salesforce App Exchange, we offer a native Salesforce integration that allows a way for users to automatically receive new objects from MailParser instead of manually entering them, saving valuable time and resources for their business. Once this example setup is completed, your emails will be forwarded to our app, which extracts only the data points that you need, and the data will be populated as new leads in Salesforce. There are a few finer points to Salesforce access that you should know about before getting set up. Firstly, you must have API access enabled within your Salesforce account in order for us to send data to it. By default, the following four editions of Salesforce include API access. API access cannot be enabled on Contact Edition and Group Edition. If you have Professional Edition, API access can be purchased and processed by contacting your Salesforce account executive. Another thing to understand about Salesforce is its depth. At over 150,000 customers, there are many different configurations people have come up with, and as a result, setting up your integration may be a little complicated. Right now we're looking at a list of example emails I have populated to my test account. Most customers will set up forwarding on their email client to automatically send us the emails they wish to have parsed. We have more information available on this in our knowledge base which you can access at support.mailparser.io. For the purposes of this video, the emails I've sent in are very basic and easy to parse, so we can use the automatic setup wizard to extract this data. Depending on your use case, and if your email has complex formatting, you may need to create manual parsing rules to extract your data, which is covered more closely in the video linked above. Now that we have extracted all of the data that we want from our emails, we need to create a webhook which will automatically process our parsed data when new data becomes available. We'll start by going to the Webhook Integrations tab, clicking on Add New Integration, and selecting Salesforce CRM as the integration type. Once this is done, we will need to connect our Salesforce account. To do this, you'll select the drop-down arrow and click Add Sandbox or Add Production Account. Your Sandbox account is your test account, and your Production account is where your live data is handled. Whichever account you select, you will be led to the Salesforce website to log in and connect your account. When your account is connected, you will be presented with a list of objects. These are the fields that our app is capable of creating in Salesforce. This list will be different for every customer. Our app can extract data and populate custom objects if necessary. If the object you're looking for isn't pulled by our app automatically, you will want to contact your Salesforce administrator for assistance. When you have selected your desired object type to populate to Salesforce, you will be presented with the fields that object consists of that we will be able to populate data to. When mapping your parsing rules to each Salesforce object field, you will notice that some field names are trailed with a red asterisk, meaning a value is required for Salesforce to accept our payload. You will need to make sure each of these are mapped to a field mail parser. In most cases, you will map parsing rules to each field, but you may also use static values to set a value that always corresponds to that field. If you're not sure what a field should be populated with, we recommend searching on Google for the Salesforce field name along with Salesforce itself which will bring up API documentation if available. Once you have finished mapping all of your parsing rules to your fields in the webhook, you can click the Save and Test button at the bottom of your webhook options to test it by running your most recently imported email through the newly configured integration. Once this passes, your setup is complete and newly imported emails will be automatically parsed and the data will be populated as the desired object you set the integration up for. One last thing I should mention is that if you have a Zapier account, you can send parse data from our app to Salesforce with Zapier as the middleman. The only reason a customer would opt for this is if they need to update an existing record, which our native integration does not allow. I hope this helps explain how our service can automate your Salesforce workflow. If you have any questions or run into trouble getting set up, please do not hesitate to send an email to support at mailparser.io and we will be happy to assist. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe if you wish to be updated when new videos are released. Have a good day.